Hi, my name is Rachel from the new customer support team and on this video we're going to show you how to create contact lists. To get into contact lists you go into administration and contact lists and in the bottom right hand corner you go to create lists. Any lists that have been previously created will show in the background here. When you go into create list you have the option on here to go into select patients and this is where you put in the query that you're looking for. If you press plus one in the bottom right hand corner and put in a brief description on this contact list we're going to look for patients under a certain payor. To add queries into this list in the bottom right hand corner you have a little arrow pointing into the lines. If you hover over this button it tells you that this is where you insert a patient selection into the list. To find active patients you have to select a check-in inactive. Press OK and change the drop down to patients without a check-in inactive. To add in the query to make sure that we're looking for only NHS patients we go back into the select insert on here and go down to pay all. Press OK and where it says pay all put in NHS or the pay all that you're looking for. Press OK on there and then go to run the list. This tick box here, use list for appointment booking. We advise to untick this if you're using this list for information. This should only really be ticked if you're going to contact the patients from this list and want to know how many patients respond to the list that you've pulled. This will then run through and create the contact list and give you an overview of the amount of patients that are on here. You then have the option to then create the list from here and have the patient's name and numbers. When this is created, you will be able to contact patients from this list with letters, emails and SMS. When the contact list is finished running, it will give you the number of patients that it has found that meets the criteria. You have the option then to create the list, which will bring up the patient's names and numbers, or you have the option to press no or cancel, which will then stop the list from running through any further. If you press yes, it will then run through and create a new contact list with the patient's names and numbers. That brings up the patient list in alphabetical order with the patient names and their numbers and the dentist that is their registered dentist on their file. From this screen you can contact the patients via either email, SMS or letter or if you want to you can print the entire contact list, the icon down here next to the bin. 